Hello and welcome. A new week and a new video. Today's video about a request I got two weeks ago for someone asking how we can to how we can chat with CSV file without talking to a large language model directly. I think he mentioned that because the video was about how we can retrieve information from BDF and he wanted to do the same thing but for CSV file. So I found two ways that we can chat with any CS file or even an Excel file in using different method. And I wanted to share it with you today. So by the end of this video, we'll have not just one method, but I think three because you can use open source, closed source, the length chain method or the band as AI method. And you can also, you can turn any Excel file to a CSV file. All right. So without further ado, let's start talking about how this works. The first method I'm using is called a CSV agent. It's from LangChain. The whole idea of the LangChain agent, it takes the dataset and combine it with a library called Banda, which is a very famous library in the data science and data analysis using Bison. It helps scientists and data analysts to analyze data in the CSV file and extract information and do a lot of analysis on it to get a result for something that you're searching for. And this method is a bunch of function. So language chain combine this function, it take all the data sets, uh, columns, and send it to large language model, for example, OpenAI, or in my case, I'm using Hugging Face as an open source and also using Gemini. And it tell it what it want. Basically, I want to extract What's the amount of females in something like a market? And you go uh, inside OpenAI large language model. They create only the code and it returns as a response and it executes it and it gives you a response. This is basically how it works. It doesn't look to the data itself of the data file or the data frame that we have. It just look to the columns and the rows. And let's see it in action. I started with install, installing the important stuff that I'm going to use. For this video, I have installing LangChain, LangChain experiment for the CSV agent, LangChain, Google Generative AI. This is the first example. We need this three library. I imported my Google AI key, installed a data set that I got from another YouTube, but it's a little bit old, talking about similar uh, topic, and unzip it. And I started to equip it inside Banda, which basically the, da the data frame, DF stands for data frame. And you can just say Banda, read CSV file, and you put the location of the data that we have. And if you said data frame.head, it will give you the first five rows of the data set. As you can see, we have here the columns that we have, the user ID, product ID, gender, age. All this information is very useful. But for us, the non-data analysis or data scientists doesn't have the time to sit down and learn about how we can use Bandas AI. So the idea here, it comes that you ask it what you want and the large language model will handle the functionality and the logic. We start with importing and creating the CSV agent. It's inside language, LangChain experiment. Z move it from LangChain to LangChain experimental and you import it here. And you can use whatever large language model that you want. I have access for Google Gemini. I'm, I'm using it and I'm importing it from LangChain Google Generative AI. You can use OpenAI, you can use Cloudia, whatever what you want. And you create any large language model, as I said here, best the model that I want. I'm using Gemini Pro and then create agent in this line. Here is CSV agent. We give it the large language model that we want, the data set and verbose is true. It's basically show us what's happening in the background. And if you write agent, you can see the inside of the agent functionality. It have the columns that we have, actually, as you can see, merge is true, predict all the stuff, user ID, predict ID, or the category, all the stuff that we have. Basically, the data set that we loaded inside. And here, uh, like a template, I think, the input should be valid Bison command, and then, after the agent is running, we can ask it, agent to run, how many row are there? The agent will take this question. I thought, as you can see, the normal 
length sheen functionality so that I can use shape to find the shape of the data frame, the first element in the table, tuple that is returned is the number of rows. So it do its action. Then the action input is the data frame shape will give us the final answer is this this number. It it handle writing the code for us another one another example. How many people are female? So there is selective. Basically, we have to select only the female in the gender column and count it. And it actually wrote the code here, the query, the shape, and the final answer. As you can see here, 135,080.9 female. So the, I think there is a lot of females here. Another question, just to finish up the length chain example, agent to run. Are there are more males or females? Here is a they have to count the value count of the each gender. The first one male and the second one is females. As you can see here, the number of males is more than females. So the, 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 the final answer will be there are more males than females. This is very good. You don't have to do a lot, honestly. We created the agent is just like two lines and two lines for importing. That's it. This is the first option that you have using length chain agent or csv and you can combine it as i said with the any llm that you want the second option that we have is banda ai it's like the data copilot that we have it take your data and it's handle writing the code in much much better way for you you can visit the website they have bandasai.com it's a very very good library honestly it's one of the best ways that you can talk to any csv file or excel file how it's work? We upload our data, basically turn it to the data frame, and the user enter the prompt. The data as we have, it's already existed. We give the large language model the columns of the data frame that we have, and it will give us eventually with the prompt the logic that we need to get the result that we want. It's a similar to length chain, but as you can see, there is three steps. The first one, data and the prompt. Second one, the large language model and the code, and the last one is the response, which basically the final result as it say here bison code is generated by large language model abi and the second step is generate bison code to execute it using the data frame or using banda the result is converted to a conversational form basically it doesn't just give you a number it tell you what this number do i am starting with a different data set this time i got this one from kegel a customer purchase behavior data set you can download it i will leave the link for it in the description and I unzip it inside the Google Colab. Here I install Bandas AI with Language Chain because I will use it with Language Chain and Language Chain Community and Hugging Face Hub because I wanted to show you how we can run this with open source model. The second step is setting up our Hugging Face API token. We have done this so many times, like you have to just to go to access token inside your Hugging Face, copy one, create one, put it here, and it's running. First thing, I wanted to show you how we can run it with Hugging Face. It's Bandas AI allow you to talk to any large language model that you want if you're using language chain. So I have to use Hugging Face endpoint from the Hugging Face from the Hugging Face inside language chain itself, not Hugging Face Hub. And I can select whatever repo that I want to talk. The repo basically the ID of the large language model that we want to use. Here I'm using the Mr. L7 instruct, which basically is very small model but it will do very good work actually and i'm going to show you how the repo id the temperature the token which basically the hugging face token this basically is the example one the example two i already commented out because i already have set up it out the google gemini i give the large language model to the smart data frame that's how you can make a chat with the csv file we give it the data file that we want and the large language model and it's as you can see looking successfully everyone everything is fine and it's working. So ask it the first question, are there more males or females? In this data set, there is are more females in this data set. So basically it just tell me as a conversation, as a response, as I'm talking to a human, there are, are more females in this data set. What the second question that I ask it, what is the most purchased amount? The purchased amount is basically how many Counting how many things has been purchased. One of the coolest thing about Bandas AI that also can do graph for you, or basically shards, without basically 
creating the shortage shelf. And trust me, this is one of the coolest thing that you can use Pandas AI for. I tell it what is the region with the most sales. And here you can see it, draw a graph for me, tell me the region, which one have the most, basically it answer me east is the region with the most sales. And you can get access to any question that you want, just log into the data set itself here and get the columns. Like if you come here, maximum is a few. You can see the Bursar amount, broad category, broad category, Bursar frequency, loyalty status, region, education, income, gender. You can look to this column, which will give it to large language model. And based on it, you can create your own questions. Back to our code. So this is basically how we can use Panda AI as a second option with Hagen Face or Gemini. But I wanted to give you a warning. Sometimes the large language model that you have have certain limitation in terms of token. So be careful that you don't basically use a model that have a small token input, like older model or something. I think OpenAI will do fine. Also, Gemini is doing good. I think if you even use scale up the master AR to 87B, it will do wonderful. If you wanted to take it to the bro level, you can use a coding only model like the Lama 2 coding version, like the Lama 2 code that we have as open source. Finally, I wanted to show you how we can transform any Excel file to CSV file using the open by Excel. Okay. As you can see here, after I install it, I got uh, Excel files and example, and I uploaded it in the Google Collab over here. The Excel file, the, the, the files, the zip example. And when I extract it, it, I get the Excel file. As you can see, XLCX, which basically is a CSV file. And I tell it, this is the file that I want to target. And the output, I wanted to put it there and name it like this. So using Pandas, the normal Pandas, library not the bandas ai we can tell it read excel files and we give it the excel file that we want and using a certain engine which is the open by y excel library that we just installed and with it we can transform it to a csv file it doesn't matter how like the file is big or small it can do that for you and after that we can use it like any normal csv file as you can see here i tell it create csv file which does this one that we created the excel file example.csv dev.head basically give me the files the first five rows of the the csv file and voila we are here and i just ask it a simple question using the data or the using the band as function give me the mean basically the average of the age and give me 30 33.26 and that's it has this is how we can create chat with any CS file or Excel file even for. You can build actually an ABI around it if you wanted to. Just imagine that you can click, drop and click a data file and you can start asking it any question that we have. One thing before I leave, actually Bandas AI have its own large language model that you can use. As you can see here, you can just register and get your Bandas AI ABI key and you can use it like normally. And the agent is here is created by large language model created by Bandas AI itself. So this is basically the way that if you want to basically pay money, but I wanted to show you how we can do that being anything and basically being in the open source kind of side. But I think this is also very powerful. It have a lot of example here, like you can see here examples. You have here uh, example was working with multiple CSV file, Excel file, Google Sheets, modern data frame, Polaris, it's basically a very powerful library. If I'm taking talking to chat with CSV file, CSV files, seriously, I'm going to use Bandas AI, not language chain, to be honest. That's it for today, gentlemen. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoy and learn something new from this video. And thank you for the support for the last video. It was a very, very good video, honestly, how I fine tune large language model the Lama 2. Please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the notification button. You will not regret it. I promise you. I'm trying to make as much as I can videos for helping you to create better AI apps in the future. So don't forget to hit the like button. And thank you for watching once more. See you in the next video.